Gordon, welcome to the videos. Jules, welcome to the videos. Hello. Thank you. Um, Jules sponsored by Pepsi. But I'm drinking Coca-Cola. Sorry. Sorry. It's super nice today and uh, we're doing a 160 kilometer ride. Tomorrow I have a race also in Amsterdam, so I'm trying to take it easy today. But uh, Gordon is pacing us pretty hard. They are exaggerating. <laughs> I'm just a uh, normal pace. Just easy, relaxed, conversation pace. Yeah. Oh. I don't like that. Look a pro. Hey, Danilo Os. That's Os. Danilo Os. It's Daniel Os. <laughs> Both Gordon and Jules have a, a steel bike, so we're thinking about getting one of those balloons <laughs> to uh, make it a bit lighter. The well, bike is only seven kilograms. It's super. It's super light. Only seven. No, I think so. Maybe may a bit more. <laughs> I decided to, to buy a, a new steel bike next year, made by Lester. You can follow him here. <laughs> follow Lester. We'll See put a link of Lester in the description. Yeah. He is building uh, new steel bikes uh, with uh, disc brakes and stuff like that. So uh, we need to save some money for it. Like the dike we're on might be closed for uh, cyclists but we have to take it otherwise we can't make the lap it's super beautiful here though That's funny, the road is closed, so they started a bus line to take cyclists to the other side of the lake. What the fuck? Gordon, can you tell us something about your bike while we're waiting for the bus? Conago Super. Used to be the best bike in the peloton in the 80s. Kneteman, uh, Raas, they all used to ride a Conago. 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 Italian. Campiolo, Super Record. Still uh, the best group you can have, in my opinion. And it's all uh, Pento brand. Pento. Can you tell us something about your bike, Joe? My bike? Uh, I picked this up from Marktplatz. I paid about uh, 250 euros for it. It's a frame from March 88, the year my wife was born also. So oh. it's a special bike for me. <laughs> it's got a Tange uh, steel tubing, made in Japan. I like all the Japanese stuff, like Shimano. So uh, this is it. Used to be uh, down tube shifters, but um, I put on uh, these shifters. I still have those. That's my ride, man, today. <laughs> Pretty cool. My ride's over there. Laying down. It's a white canyon. No special story. No. Boring. Boring. Boring story.
Uh, Sunday now three hours until the race so I'm just having a quick lunch before I head over to the Rafa clubhouse to meet the teammates and go to the race I think uh, Gordon is coming to the race to cheer me on and to help me film it. So I'm pretty excited. It's going to be my second uh, ever road bike race um, on a crit circuit, a circuit through Amstelveen. It's the Ronde van Amstelveen. I read that it's a really tricky circuit with pretty bad road surface. So I have two goals, be more aero than last time because that's what Tim, our coach, told me. So I worked on my position for the past few weeks. And the second goal is to survive. Because I don't feel like crashing, I have another race on Thursday, the fixed gear one. So I want to end the day without any bruises and broken arms. I'm gonna finish the salad and then over, head over to the clubhouse to see which of the other guys from the team are joining. I'll see you there. So we just got to the racetrack, I uh, got my bib number, I'm ready, ready to start. I think the race is going to be 50 laps, uh, so 60 kilometers in total. Laura's only three of the team here. So we're probably not going to do much tactics, we're just going to enjoy ourselves, have fun. I'm not going to do a warm up because it's fucking hot already. And uh, Gordon's here, Jeroen is here, I hope they will do some filming. And I'm going to try to run the GoPro of course. So uh, I'll see you at the start line. De finale van vandaag de wedstrijd voor de amateur sportklasse en de junioren zijn we aan begonnen. 60 kilometer, goed voor 5 en 5. Okay, here I am again. Uh, quick disclaimer, this race was amateur and sport classe together. Now, me and my teammates, we always race in sport classe and amateur is the level above it. Normally, these races are separated. For the Ronde van Amstelveen, these two categories are put together because otherwise the race is too small and we thought, what the heck, we'll just race it and see what happens. Yeah. 
proof. Oxygen flooded to the roots and get wildfire in the veins of the looseness. Vows found to recoup, crack vows in the booth in it. Venus. On track, crackdowns, correctives you can't hack. Settle down, start access and pay tax. Stay safe off less, shave off slack, and exact that. What happened came as a little bit of a surprise for me, but maybe it shouldn't. Because if you look at my heart rate on the left bottom, uh, you see that it's super high. You can see that the speed is super high and the course is just four corners, but a lot of speed bumps. So the race is super intense. It's about braking and then accelerating the whole time. Yes, it's, How's it's Martijn doing? Martijn's doing very well. He gained some position, but it's going very fast. And I think he needs to stay in the bunch for a while and not attack until after 45 minutes or something. Yeah. It's very hot also, so you need to drink well. No, no support allowed today. No support allowed. It's all autonomous. Yeah, all autonomous. So pretty much right from the start of the race, I knew that it was going to be super tough. I also knew that there was 50 laps. And after a couple of laps, I just felt that I was in above my head. I tried to hold on to the pack, but because I'm in the back, after every corner, you have to accelerate so much in order to keep up. It was just too much. So I held on for a couple more laps. And then in the seventh lap, I had to give up. Martijn got dropped and he doesn't have enough energy to keep up with the pack. It's really a pity, but it just it's just going too fast, I guess. Yeah. Martijn was giving the suicide uh, sign. I was, de I was defeated. <laughs> the pace was so fucking high. Really incredible. I lost big time. I thought I was fit enough, turns out I'm not. Uh, same thing with Adam. And also he didn't want to crash because it's very, it was very messy. Very messy riding. <coughs> and Niels had a mechanical, he couldn't shift. So I think uh, the Rafa guys made a, a very bad impression today. <laughs> oh, well, I don't think we're allowed to ride next year. <laughs> but that's okay. <laughs> oh, you got the jacket. Yeah. New jacket. I'm actually wearing it because it got sunburned yesterday. It's a rain jacket, Gordon. Yeah, I know. Mom. What are we gonna do? Drink a beer. Oh, what's I think. the race? Get a beer. Get a beer on the other side. <laughs> Line up.